I had a few questions about my furnace this week so I'm gonna go over that a little bit and we're gonna melt down some zinc and aluminum ingots our furnace is basically a can with a flower pot and another can on the inside our original furnace was made of two flower pots one inner and one outer with mortar in between and a hole through it just like that and that didn't last very long uh, and we were using charcoal and it was our fault we we lit the charcoal too hot the first time didn't actually get the the mortar set before we started using it and the, the pots came apart so with this newer model we've got two steel buckets with the flower pot in the mortar reflecting the heat back inside we've got an extremely simple torch that came from the backyard scientist i'll put a link to that in the description um, the only modification we made is we use a hair dryer to add oxygen or just air into it to make sure we get a complete burn of the propane coming in and that seems to work real well uh, we're going to get started in a minute um, our crucible our crucible is an old small propane tank it's worked well i don't know how long it'll Okay, we have our hair dryer set up there on low, no heat. Uh, we've got a crucible full of zinc right here. And we're going to go ahead and light it. Gas, please. Go ahead. Let me do it. I almost had it. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead. No, it won't. Go ahead. Go. our top we'll put that on in just a second okay it's only been a few minutes and we've got it glowing pretty good and red in there you can see the red glow in there that's going well you can see hopefully there's some liquid zinc down there in the bottom and a couple more pieces we're going to add in there Yellow, that's actually zinc oxide, but it's going real well now. Uh, we'll be pouring in a little bit. Okay, our zinc is melted well. There's a green fire in there. Yep, the green is zinc oxide. Try not to breathe that in. Um, we're going to go ahead and pour this out into some ingots. It's really taking just 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I don't think that'll hurt anything. You need to walk back as he does that. How'd you get it out last time? Go that way? I believe so. Yeah, okay, careful. Set it on the ground. Get from the side. Come back up that way. somewhat fireproof table. We're just going to pour some ingots out of here, also known as muffins. Very nice. You've done this before. <laughs> that sounds cute. Yeah. Ooh, it's pretty. Thanks, made it myself. Probably just one more. Pour hard. Okay, hold that right there. Let me see if I can get some of the uh, excess stuff to come out. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. This is just the muffin that fell on the floor. Um, we'll see who we can find that up on. Okay, now we're going to get started with the aluminum. It's basically the same process. 
that is super hot. This was our left in the can once upon a time. That's pure aluminum. That's going to go in the bottom first. Ish. Again, we have 911 on the feed Okay, we're going to go ahead and fill this with aluminum and then we'll light up the uh, the furnace and get going with this. So we're, we're checking our muffins for doneness now. Here, check these over here. Oh, look, that's nice. Oh, those are done. Check these here. Yeah, it needs to be cooked a bit more, I guess. Yep, oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, not quite done yet. Just about. Yep, so our sink isn't fully melted yet, but our aluminum, or isn't fully hardened yet, but our aluminum's almost already melted. It's going great. That had no in there. Those big pieces there are, are left over from, actually from my daughter's wedding, those are, are banquet pans. We'll have some cans that we'll be feeding in a minute. Those are much less exciting, but much more readily available too. We're getting some cans ready to go in there. Go ahead. You don't have to do this. You can just put a whole open can, but I wanted to show you just how little of aluminum there is in a single can. Look at how thin that is. There's not much aluminum there, and unfortunately, with the paint and the with the paint and the uh, coating on the inside, you get the slag from it. So you really don't get as much aluminum from a can as as you think you would. Our sink's been out here a while. Uh, we're ready to go ahead and dump it into the water. Um, the pan is still a bit warm. I should be wearing leather gloves, but those are inside. Just splash with a bit of cold water. There we go. We put some sand in the bottom of there. Hopefully it won't melt through the pan. If it does, we'll have to get another one at the dollar store. out of there. There's quite a bit of dross. Uh, hopefully we'll be ready to pour it pretty soon. Hey, it's me again. I know you're sick of me again, but look at how red hot this is. I really hope that's coming through because that, that's just awful. Alright, we're getting some of the dross out now and then I think we're going to go ahead and pour. You can see there's a whole lot of dross because we used a whole lot of aluminum cans. Hot. Okay, um, I think we've got an issue, but we're going to go ahead and pour out what we got in here. Oh, oh it's leaking. First of all, just look at that. Talk about timing. Yep. That was along the lines of the issue I thought we were having. Yeah, some ash coming out the other end. I think that's all we're going to get out of it, but it's pretty cool looking uh, aluminum. That's the problem with using a... Alright, I'm going to put this down on the... That's the problem with using a thin metal can. This is really pure aluminum here. But using a thin metal can for a crucible doesn't seem to work out well. I really want to invest in a graphite crucible, and I think we'll do that for a future pour. And that's all the aluminum we're going to get today. Okay, we got a couple of uh, aluminum muffins. We're going to go ahead and dump them in the water. Zip, zip. And the water starts to boil. Did only one of them come out? Yeah. There we go. Here. All right, we're gonna weigh um, an aluminum muffin versus a zinc muffin just to see the difference back in that. Okay, we're gonna do a quick comparison to the 
between the zinc and aluminum muffins that we made. This is our smallest aluminum muff or zinc muffin right here. Go ahead, put that on there. Our smallest one is 13 and a half ounces. And that by volume is just a, is just a little smaller than these two aluminum ones combined. Those two aluminum ones combined. Let's go ahead, weigh, weigh that one at a time. Add, put one aluminum one on there. One aluminum one is four and an, well, a little over four ounces. And with two aluminum ones on there, nine and three eighths ounces. So these two, which have a much bigger volume than that single one, weigh about four ounces less. That's how much more dense zinc is than aluminum. So it's really easy to tell them apart when you have like sizes. Other than that though, they look very similar um, as far as the metal itself, but it, it definitely feels hef heftier. And uh, strength wise, there's not that much difference for what we would use it for. So I think what happened when we did the zinc, which we did first, the there was some zinc left over in the crucible. It didn't all pour out. And when we added the aluminum to it, th they don't make a good alloy. I, I looked that up beforehand. Um, but what I didn't consider was that by having zinc residue in the crucible, it would cause reactions with the aluminum and cause more dross. So I think that's why we got a lot more dross than we were expecting. I mean, this is pretty good quality aluminum right here. Uh, it's a combination of what we had before plus some other cans today. Uh, we did lose a lot to the to the dross because of the zinc that was left over. And it's a lesson learned. In the future, we'll use separate crucibles. I don't know if we'll go with the propane tank, the small can that we used before. I'd like to get... Uh, graphite crucible. If I do, I'd probably get one graphite one for the aluminum and do one of the propane tanks with the zinc because that worked real well, you know, until it didn't. Anyways, lesson learned. That's what we're all about. Thanks for watching. And remember, do as I say, not as I do-do. <laughs>